Hey there folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the DC Superheroes Scarecrow Action Figure Set by Mattel. This figure set is part of the first series of the DC Super Heroes 6 inch scale uh, line of action figures and was first released in 2006. I got this set uh, in 2011 as a purchase uh, from eBay and I ended up paying about $25 uh, with free shipping for this set. Taking a look at the Scarecrow here in the package uh, it's a pretty decent figure here, and uh, he does come with a uh, pitchfork slash uh, scythe accessory there. And also included uh, with the set is a uh, reproduction of uh, a Batman comic. Uh, I'm not sure what issue on here. It looks like they removed the issue number from there. Uh, but uh, we'll soon find out. And uh, it's pretty cool, uh, this being uh, part of the first series of DC Superheroes with the packaging here. And uh, you can tell that uh, the first series was a Batman themed series. And you got the nice uh, Superheroes logo here. And uh, you have uh, in here, in English, a multi-posable figure and then in other languages as well. So that's kind of cool. We have here on the back of the package uh, other figures uh, from the first series of DC Superheroes. We have here uh, Batman in blue and gray. And of course we have Scarecrow here. And we have Bane. And Killer Croc. Pretty cool. Now we'll be right back and have the Scarecrow here out of the package. All right, we're back and we have Scarecrow here out of the package. And it's a very nice figure set. I really like it. Uh, lots of detail and uh, also uh, it comes with a few accessories. And we'll take a look at those uh, next. And uh, we'll get Scarecrow here out of the way. And uh, we'll take a look at the uh, recreation of a Batman comic. And uh, this uh, item here was on top of the comic. Uh, a graphic display of... Uh, I guess a starburst pattern here and uh, you can see bring out uh, more of the color there we go you can see uh, yellow here and uh, some white in the middle and uh, some blue uh, outline there it's actually uh, pr pretty neat and uh, I guess you could use it uh, for a display and uh, it's actually uh, quite cool and uh, taking a look though at the comic here, uh, this is a recreation of Batman uh, number, I, th I thought I remember it's like 500, uh, 524 and it was uh, copyrighted uh, in 1995 and this is uh, written by Doug Munch and drawn by Kelly Jones and uh, inked by John uh, Beattie and uh, colored by Greg Wright. And uh, this is a very interesting uh, comic. Of course, it's a uh, Scarecrow-centric uh, story. And, of course, you have uh, Kelly Jones' uh, trademark uh, art style uh, with the Batman there. And it uh, looks like it's a very interesting read. Uh, I haven't read it yet, and I want to go ahead and do that uh, as soon as I finish this uh, video. Because it looks uh, pretty neat. Uh, Never been too much of a fan of uh, Kelly Jones' artwork. It's very stylistic. Um, but uh, this one actually doesn't look too bad. And I, like I said, I, I really uh, want to look at uh, the uh, story here. It looks like a very uh, nice uh, read. But uh, this is the comic uh, that comes included uh, with the Scarecrow. Uh, next, uh, take a look at the accessories and... Uh, one of the accessories I did not know uh, was included. Uh, it was well hidden, and or I, I just wasn't really looking. But um, the first accessory uh, is the scythe uh, slash uh, pitchfork, and uh, this one you you can easily see in the packaging. It's not uh, easy to miss, and it's actually uh, pretty neat. And like I said, it's a combination of a pitchfork here on this end and a scythe on this end. And it has uh, two handles here, and uh, unfortunately, 
the scarecrow can only wield it uh, really effectively with one hand because uh, you got one hand here sculpted to hold the scythe and uh, the other hand is really posed to grip uh, his other accessory here so uh, he really can't uh, effectively wield it uh, with both hands there uh, which is unfortunate uh, but t taking a look at the blade here it's made of a softer pliable uh, material and uh, mine was uh, relatively straight uh, it's, you got a little bit of a bend here which I actually don't mind uh, on there and uh, it makes it look a uh, look a little bit better I think uh, because it's uh looks like it's a, a worn uh, and well used scythe there and you can see some sculpting details unfortunately uh, no added paint details other than the metallic silver here which is the metallic silver is nice would have been nice to add a, a maybe a, a little bit of wash to add to bring out uh, some of the details on there because you could really see some of the sculpted details but uh, I think uh, with a wash it would be look even better on there but uh, you can see the handle here with the wood grain on there it's actually kind of neat and then you have the pitchfork here and uh, this is made of a softer material as well and that's kind of cool because on this side here you can see the sculpt of a crow which is uh, painted in uh, red there so that's really cool I really like that and then you have this uh, V-like pattern here but uh, pretty cool and uh, the grip uh, on the scythe is uh, pretty solid uh, and you can see you can get it in there uh, pretty tight and you can see he wields it uh, basically with one hand there now taking a look at the uh, other accessory, as soon as I get this out of his hand here, is uh, this item here. Now, uh, I don't know what this really is, but it's actually very, very cool. And uh, it's in a skull-like sculpt. And uh, you get some, I'm not sure what that is on the side here. I, I'm thinking maybe it's a, a container for his fear toxin. Uh, I'm not sure, but it's very cool. I really dig the sculpt. And I did not know that uh, it was in the package. Uh, it was in his hand. Uh, there was a, an elastic band uh, around it. But uh, it's very, very cool. I really like the details. Uh, you can see, even see the teeth here. It's very, very neat. And uh, the Scarecrow uh, can grip it uh, with this hand here. And he has an adequate uh, grip on there. Uh, it's not too bad. You can see it doesn't fall out. So, But if you nudge it a little bit, it'll uh, pop out. So it's uh, pretty uh, interesting there. And I, I really like uh, that accessory. I just did not notice that accessory in the package. And that's really cool. Now taking a look at Scarecrow here. And uh, this is a figure I've been uh, looking forward to getting. Because... Uh, I've seen it uh, over the years, I just never really picked it up uh, either at the store or on eBay and I just finally did uh, just recently because I wanted to complete my uh, Legion of Doom and I uh, was able to find this guy for a pretty good price uh, considering how much he's selling for nowadays and I'm pr pretty happy to get it and uh, it's just I didn't know that uh, there was this much detail into this figure and there's quite a bit and uh, starting with the head sculpt here you can see uh, Jonathan uh, Crane here and <laughs> with his uh, scarecrow getup and it's actually quite cool the detail is just very very nice you can see the stitching on his uh, mask there very cool and uh, you can see the rope around the neck area, which is uh, very, very cool. And uh, I'm not sure those eyes are translucent. I think they're just glossy paint, uh, but it looks very nice on there. It's very, very neat. Uh, I really dig the, the eyes on the, the eye work on there. And you can see some more stitching on the, the grin there of his uh, mask. It's very, very well painted detail. On there and then you got the um the hat here which is nice it's non-removable uh which is uh, okay i wish it was a uh, removable but it isn't 
but it's uh, got a nice sculpt in there and you got a nice uh, accented paint on the base of the hat there very cool and you can see uh, the tattered pattern of the uh, hat here making it look well uh, worn on here and that's what I like about this sculpt because there's a lot of it uh, that uh, shows a lot of wear and tear on this uh, uh, scarecrow figure you can see like the patchwork on his uh, costume there it's actually uh, pretty neat there's one there and there's a blue one here and another blue one there and it, patchwork you got stitching patterns it's actually quite neat and uh, you can see some rope here tied to the arms and great placement uh, for these uh, ropes because uh, they're right where the uh, articulation joints are at well except for this one this one's just sculpted in uh, on the leg here and uh, this particular one here uh, unfortunately uh, when I got it out of the package and was working the articulation uh, I don't know if it was because of uh, the age of the figure in combination with the soft plastic, but as soon as I started uh, turning this particular uh, leg joint, uh, it's a swivel cut, uh, it just basically tore the peg off, uh, clean off, and uh, had to super glue it into place. I, later on, I may uh, cut back that off and add a maybe a copper rod in there to put the swivel back in, but for now, it's okay with the super glue on there and uh, just looking at some of this other detail it's just very very cool you can even see uh, what looks like a rib cage uh, underneath the cloth there uh, it's very very cool I really dig it and more of the cloth patterns and the glove uh, the gloves that he uh, wears and it's nice and uh, th uh, not l thick uh, but it's uh, it accentuates the th uh, the thinness of this particular figure. You can see how uh, the the arm here is very thin going into the glove. That's actually uh, pretty cool. And yet this is a very lean figure, uh, which is uh, pretty neat. I really uh, dig uh, this uh, style of of the scarecrow here. You can see some more uh, detail patterns there. It's very nice, really cool. You can see the, some of the tatters there really cool and of course so you got the feet uh, boots here some more of the sculpting detail the stitching very nice really dig it now uh, going over the articulation of scarecrow here the head is on a uh, I'm not sure what you would call this ball uh, uh, hinged uh, jointer uh, but it does go all the way around and uh, does go up and down more down than up uh, and if you look underneath you can see uh, sort of a like a hinge joint there with a, a pegged uh, ball joint going into the head there and uh, you can actually make it go around a, a little bit as well so that's kinda cool uh, the arms do go all the way around and they do go out and in and they do go all the way around uh, at the bicep area. You can see uh, where the break is uh, with the, the rope tied there on the arm. That's kind of cool. A uh, single joint at the elbow. They can go uh, in and out. Uh, the uh, glove can go all the way around at the forearm. And uh, this hand is pre-posed uh, to grip the scythe. And of course uh, this one is preposed for holding the I guess the fear toxin and or, or emotive uh, poses if you if you will and the uh, torso here is pretty interesting it's got two swivel um, joints here uh, one where it can swivel side to side at this top area and uh, all the way around on this uh, bottom part of the torso now what's interesting about the the swivel cuts on this is that uh, they're not parallel. Uh, they come to a point uh, here. It's wider at the front than it is at the back. So uh, I guess it, with the combination of the uh, swivels, you can actually uh, pose Scarecrow in a um, angular pose if you want him to pose uh, 
looking downwards or uh, to the side there. So that's actually kind of neat. I wish the uh, upper uh, swivel though went all the way around, but it only goes uh, about 180 degrees there. So uh, you don't get as many poses as you'd like. Uh, but it's actually kind of neat how you can actually move uh, these two swivel points to get a variety of uh, poses off for the torso. Uh, the uh, legs are uh, on a hinge swivel joint but because of this harder texture here on the uh, lower end of the uh, shirt or jerkin, <coughs> excuse me, uh, you really can't get it up uh, too far forward unfortunately. Uh, but you can bend it uh, down and back uh, because uh, there's more clearance on the on the uh, shirt here. And uh, you can bend it uh, going out to the side as well. Now there is a swivel cut at the thigh, uh, one where it's working and one where it's glued currently. And the uh, leg can bend at the knee. And uh, the boot can go all the way around here. And the foot can move up and down at the ankle. And uh, the feet can also pivot uh, side to side. So that's uh, kind of cool. So overall, a great figure. I really love uh, this scarecrow. I'm finally uh, happy to, to get it. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure why I uh, put it off so long. But uh, uh, it's just a great figure uh, from the DC Superheroes uh, line. And uh, a great addition to the uh, Legion of Doom. Uh, this is my casual peek into the DC Superheroes Scarecrow uh, action figure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.